Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I posted anything with my voice in it, but someone wanted a tutorial on that tiger that I did the other day, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, so I start off by finding a good reference image of what I'm drawing, in this case obviously a tiger. Um, I start by blocking in the shapes with kind of the main color of whatever I'm drawing is, in this case a light orange. I'm just going to block in the ears and then block in the cheeks and the rest of the shape of the tiger. I'm just doing the head. Um, so, yeah. so then I start to blend in a darker, more vibrant reddish orange. Um, I always use a paintbrush for everything that I make uh, that's able to blend like this. In any program, I'll mess around with the settings if I have to make it blend like that because I want it to act as much like real paint as I can. I don't want to have to use multiple different brushes and then a different blender. I want to do it all in one brush. So then I'm taking a darker reddish purpley color and shaping out the eyes and the nose and lightly defining the sides of the mouth and any darker shaded areas that I'm going to end up blending in to make them look a little bit nicer. And then I am adding some shading under the chin there. And now I'm just adding in a lighter tan beige color to highlight the lighter areas of the fur based on the reference image again around the eyes too. And now some shading around the crease on the forehead. And again, I blend that in with all the same brush that I'm using. Um, if you use a program that doesn't have a brush that blends like this, you can always block it in with flat color and then use a smudge brush on like Photoshop or something like that. But I'm pretty sure Photoshop has all the same kind of capabilities as Infinite Painter and probably way, way better. Um, and now I'm going to define the creases of the eyes here where the tear ducts would be. And we're going to just start blocking in the stripes. Everything here can be as messy or as clean as you want it to be. I tend to start off messy with everything. Like I've said before, everything I do is messy there's no point in stressing over getting everything perfect right away. Um, if you clean up just select points on a picture like the eyes and the nose and the mouth and everything else is kind of messy, as long as the important features are cleaned up, it's going to give the illusion that everything is clean until you really, really look at it. But even a little bit of messy look to things looks kind of nice. It has its own little style to it. I like that painterly aspect of it. But just still blocking in the stripes here. And it's going to take a little while for you to do this. But just go off of the reference image. It doesn't have to be exactly like the picture that you're going off of. But um, it's good to go off of that because then you'll kind of get the idea of where everything should be but every tiger is going to look different, so it doesn't have to look exactly like that tiger from the picture. Now we're just going to fill in the ears and block them in. I'm just going to do the lines around the whiskers and block in a little bit of highlights on the nose just to show where the light's hitting it a little bit more. It's just slightly lighter. And here we are going to add in some of the same color from the stripes underneath the chin to add shadow. I try to keep the color selection very simple and then just color pick to blend everything together. And then we'll take a darker reddish brown to do the chest here and blend that into the dark straight color. 
And then we're gonna take our main orange and blend that into the chest just to balance everything out again. Okay, we're almost done now. Just gotta finish up a couple more details. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of fur texture to the chin here and then fill in the nose with a light pink. And then we're gonna highlight it with a lighter pink to where the light source would hit it. And then just kind of blend everything together and make it look nice. And then we're gonna finish up the stripes on the chest here. You can see I use a large size brush to kind of block everything in and then if I need to I'll shrink the size of the brush and go in with smaller details just to make it look a little bit more cleaned up. If you make it look big and messy and then clean up some small details you can fool everyone into thinking it's super detailed when really you just globbed on a bunch of colors. It's really nice. It's very cheaty but it works. And now I'm just taking that dark stripe color and adding a couple little outlines to balance it out with the chest. And now we're going to do the eyes. And I'm just going to let you guys watch the real time speed of this. I just, I'm going to do green eyes, so take a very, very, very vibrant green. Block that in as some circles. Take a lighter, slightly more yellow green. We want a variation in color in your eyes. No eyes, just one color. Block that in for the highlight of the eye here. Not the reflection, but just the lighter part of your iris. And then we will take a darker, more blue green for the center where it's really dark, right before the pupil. Blend that in a little bit where the shadow would be from the eyelid. And then color in your pupil with black. Or close to black since nothing I've drawn in this picture is black. I don't go completely black on anything, but sometimes you can if the contrast is high enough. And then you just add in the white for the highlights, for the reflections. And the last thing that we're gonna do before we call it done is just define a little bit of a darker line around the eyes, just slightly darker than the stripe color, just to define them a little bit more. Cause like I said, those are the areas where you're gonna look. The first thing you're gonna look at in this kind of drawing is the eyes. So you want that to be very defined compared to everything else. And then just defining out the nostrils and the mouth, because that's probably the second area where you'd look. And then almost done, just gotta put in the whiskers. So we'll take a light color, a little lighter than our light fur, and a very small brush, and sketch in the whiskers real quick. Make sure you get them nice and straight looking and Pay attention to your reference image or else they're going to look wonky and throw your whole picture off. And that should be everything then. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was helpful. Um, if you like what you saw and you want some more, please subscribe, hit that like button, uh, follow me for more.